hi guys this is video studio and in today's video we are going to learn about how to convert your still flyer into a motion flyer this can be done using after effects and photoshop i think this is a simple tutorial i just need to stick and stay to the end so without wasting my time let's get into photoshop so we are here in photoshop i designed this myself I think this is a simple design using text and what an image. So you can see there are two images over here which are separate, they are not together. So I named them. There's a lady image and there's a man. So I think this is a very simple design that you can also do. So I'm going to leave the project in the link in the description. You can download it straight from there and follow along. So let's get into After Effects. So I'll close the project and get into After Effects. So guys, we are in After Effects. I'll just bring in my old motion flyer over here. There is a prompt that comes. So most of the time it's on footage. Make sure it's on composition and check on editable layers. So I think our motion flyer is in here. I'll click it twice and it will open. I think the dimension is 1080 by 1080. Yeah, that's the dimension I use in Photoshop. So I think everything is cool over here. One thing that you have to take note is that you, you need to make sure that you rename all your hot layers. So there is a the man. I did it in Photoshop, so I don't have to rename it over here. So there is the man. There is the lady. There is my text. And I think that's all. Right now, our text is being seen as what image, but we can convert it to a live text. So I'll right click on my text like this, then come to create and convert to editable text so right now you can see you can even make changes to our text now right click on this one to like this and create what editable text i think this is cool so the next thing that we need to do is that we need to add 3d to anything that you want to add movement to it so the man like this i need to add 3d the lady like this i need to add 3d if you cannot see your 3d section over here you need to click here and it's going to show your 3d the next thing we need to do is that we need to create what a camera and before we create a camera we need to dive into what two view section right now we are in one view and we need to dive into two views so i'll click here for two view section so this is my two view this is the other window that will help me to navigate into my hot into my space of 3d so i'll create a camera i'll come to layer then i'll come to new and i'll come to what camera that's the shortcut to over there i'll create a new camera i'll make sure that the lens is on what i'll make sure that the process is on hot 24 mm i need something wide you get it so i think this is cool so there's our camera there's our image and there's our lady image so the whole thing that we are going to do is that we are going to create a depth between the hot the lady image and the hot and the guy so right now they are they are all on the same page you can see that the lady is here the man is here and the camera too is here so this camera can be represented as your normal camera that you have your actual camera that you have so this is my camera this is my man this is my lady over there we are not going to add 3d to the text so we need to switch them off so i'll switch them off for now we'll come back to them i think the background we are not going to add any movement to the background because like there is nothing interesting over there so i'll leave it like that so for the lady over here i need to send it back so i'll send the lady by pressing p so on the z axis i'll send it back you can also use the gizmo over here you can drag it like this and it will send it back or you can use the last digit over here you can send it back so i want to create a large depth so i need to send it back so there's the camera you can see the distance between the camera and the hot and the lady i think this is okay so you can see over here that the lady is too small over here so the next thing i'll do is i'll, I'll press on shift then add s so s is for skill and for that one i'll increase the skill like this and the girl will come back to its original position so there's the guy i'll press on p and i'll also send it back so this is where the lady is so this is where the lady is so for the guy i'll send it back so you can see the guy going back 
I'll make sure that there is what there is a gap between the guy and the what and the girl. So I think this this gap is okay. Engage the skill. So guys, I think this is okay. So the next thing that we have to do is that we have to create a null object. So I right click over here, you can come to this side, new null object. Null object. I'll select the camera and I'll make sure that the null object is what is 3D. I'll select the camera and pair the camera to the hot to the null object. So right now we are using the null object as a camera. When you are using the null object as a camera, it's very easy for you to navigate through. You get it. So that's why I'm doing that. So you can see the camera over here, and this is the guy, and this is the girl so right now we have everything in that so the next thing that we have to do is that we have to animate uh, so i'll click on p on the null then i'll set a keyframe over here so this is how my animation is going to end this is how i like it to end but to start we have to do some skirmishes over there you bow. i'll click on my keyframe like this and my animation i want it to last maybe five seconds maybe five seconds so I'll bring my keyframe to the five seconds. But for the beginning, what is going to happen? So me for the beginning, I want the camera to go close up to the lady and dolly back to reveal the guy. So I'll just click on what my Z position over here. I want the close up of the girl. Then I'll position it like this. Then I'll make sure that the girl will be in the frame like this. Then I'll play. Guys, you see what I'm seeing over here? So guys, this is very simple. This is very simple. This is the magic of After Effects. This is the magic of After Effects. If you don't like it, I don't know what you like. So there can even be like three images or four images or something. You get it. And it's going to be nice. So guys, I think this is cool. Mm-hmm. Then I'll select my two keyframe like this and I'll press on F9. So after pressing on F9, I'll select it like this again. After selecting the two of them, I'll come to the graph editor like this. If you are new to After Effects, you're not going to see this graph over here. So you right click over here and edit and check on what? Edit on speed graph. So I'll select the last point over here, then drag it in. So guys, see what I'm getting. Guys, hope you can see what I'm getting. So guys, the next thing that we have to do is that we are using camera and camera has depth. So if, if you want to add depth to what you are doing right now, it looks cool though, but if you add depth, it's going to make your work more professional. So let's add depth. I'll select the camera like this and click on the arrow over here. And I'll come to camera option then i'll engage what depth of field then i'll increase my aperture so when you increase your aperture there is what you are going to get you get it you get it now you can see you can see there is some depth in there you get it and now the focus is not on the girl again but when it comes here the focus is on the girl so to make it so to make the girl more sharper I will check on the aperture like this at zero and getting to the guy I'll make sure here the aperture aperture will increase to this point now come to this side then I reduce the aperture I think the girl is too close to the guy that's why you can't see much depth but I think this is cool. This is cool. I think this is cool. You 
yeah guys i think this is cool this is cool we've done a good job i think this is cool i'll press f9 on the keyframes If you want to make a continuous zoom when it reaches here it will keep what going back small slightly you click on the zoom icon over zoom keyframe over here then you come to this side like six seconds then you bring it down then you bring your keyframe to this side like this and press f9 so this is going to add some little zoom zoom out to your to your motion i think my resolution is full that's why um you're not getting something smooth to play but when you are working make sure your resolution is at maybe quarter or third otherwise if you're not having a good machine there is going to be fire outbreak yeah guys so i think this is cool so the next part is that we have to add in what our text and you can even add after the text you can even add confetti so the next part is that we, we need to add in our text so i'll switch on my text like this so there's my text over here so let's come back to our hot our one view so there's my text and i'm going to animate using what um animation composer so i'll come to animation composer so there's my animation composer I'll come to transition text and I'll come to so there's our animation composer there's a lot of animations over here and it's going to make your work so fast for you so I'll go through and pick one of them I think I use this one so I think the one that I used was this one I'll select the two text like this and I'll click it twice then I'll select the two text like this and bring it to somewhere here otherwise it will start right from the beginning so i think the texts are coming the same time so the one over here the down one i'll make it offset like this so guys basically that's how you can even continue to add some confetti sake of this a moment of what happiness you can even continue to add some confetti to it and some sound to it and you are going to get something nice out of this so guys if my tutorial is helpful kindly subscribe to my youtube channel share it like it this video studio and i'm out